All right, to start us off, I'm going to create a new project. I'm going to go new project, basic game. I'm going to call this Shader Tutorials. Click enter. I'm going to open the source packages folder, the my game package. Double click main.java. And as you can see, there's already an unshaded material definition here for our box geometry. So shift F6 and show you what this is what the unshaded material definition will be. Now to make it look a bit better, I'm going to create a sphere instead. It'll help demonstrate it because I'm going to show you uh, the two probably the most common ones which are unshaded and lighting. I'm going to control shift I to import the sphere and then control space to get a constructor arguments sample and so 20, 20 radius uh, 3. Let's get it on there. Just make it a bit more consistent. Sphere minus S. Click control F6. I'm going to uh, untick vertical sync because the frame rate decreases a lot when I'm using my screen capture program. So, yeah, that's what this sphere looks like. I'm also going to like increase the movement speed so I can move around the virtual space a lot easier. And rotation speed, rotation speed, I should do. Okay, so what is a material? A material in the JMonk engine is basically a way to talk to the shader at a higher level, so to speak. So it takes care of the vertex and fragment shaders for you, so you don't really have to worry about it. And you can change the way the shader works by Putting in these uh, arguments, I'm not sure what to call them. So you have like set color, set flow, boolean, matrix, texture. If you want to add a color map, um, other ones like that. And I'll show you the the lighting. Material definition, which is the next most common one. It's common map depths, lights, lighting. And if you want to find out what you can actually use with these, I'd suggest going to the materials tutorials uh, wiki page on the Jane McKinney website. Um, so I can set, set a few colors here. I can set an ambient color. Uh, yeah, I'll use blue. You can set diffuse color. Um, also going to set that as blue. And you can set a specular color which makes up, all three of these make up the Fong lighting model. Um, so I'm just going to call this green. And there's a few other ones I want to set. I want to set Boolean. And let's use material colors. I hope that's right. True. Because this makes it, so when I use my light, um, I just drag the light from the palette. So I don't want to, I don't really want to use the color of the light. I want to use the colors I set in the, in the lighting material definition. And oh yeah, I can change the shininess. That's a float. Shininess. Shininess. Well, that's how you spell it. Pull out five and. I'm going to create another geometry. I'm going to use the same sphere mesh though, so I can reuse that. 
Let's go to Steel Mom, New Geometry. Let's give it some name, doesn't really matter. Uh, attach that to the root node. I need to attach the material to that geometry. So material. Uh, sorry, I've got a bit of a cold. Um, no, um, I need to move that. Uh, so local translation. So we move it to the right. Uh, the right four. Uh, hopefully that works. Sweet. As you can probably see, there's a quite a big difference between this boring, unshaded material definition on the left and this awesome, sweet one on the right. Uh, of course, the one on the right is going to take a lot uh, longer to compute all the fragments on it. Um, what else can I do? I'm not very really sure. Of course, there's a few others. There's like there's terrain. There's like ones for the particles. There's like a coloured texture one, I think, which basically all you can do is set a colour with it, and that will probably be our first real sh introduction to shaders. As I'll show you that one. Okay, but I guess I should show you what shaders. Um, look like not really how they look like, but the code that goes into making. Uh, I'll probably do the unshaded material definition. I'll do that now.